Hello to everyone, my name is Felice Pescatore, I'm from Italy and uh, I'm a software engineer working on uh, Agile field from um, science uh, six, six, seven years ago and uh, I'm also a Microsoft MVP for the ILM uh, field and I'm part of the discipline of the Agile Consortium and we will talk about this uh, just now, okay? Okay, uh, what typically I do in my daily work? I typically try to help uh, enterprise company to better achieve their goals uh, and to better uh, organize their work uh, in a way that the <coughs> IT department can be a really asset to help the business to improve the, the economic field, the economic goal. So, I would like to start with the Conway's law. Anyone know the Conway's law? Okay, great. That is very important. And uh, you can uh, ask to me that it's true in your reality. You can find that it's true, yes, yeah? okay. Uh, so what uh, Conway really ask to us uh, in a simple way, that if you have uh, a complex company, a bureaucracy company, you can create a good software, a great product, because uh, uh, every product created inside your company uh, try to follow your organization your organization structure. And this is very important because uh, this is the starting point for the DevOps transformation. Uh, other before me as to you that uh, DevOps have five, four pillars, sorry, but uh, the most important aspect is that uh, is an organizational and a cultural change. This is very, very important. Tools in DevOps are one of the aspects of DevOps, but not the main aspect of DevOps. This is very, very important. Sorry, but I think, okay. Today, every company is a technology company. Doesn't matter what is your company, doesn't matter what is your field, your application field. You can't uh, create business without IT support. And your IT solution help your management, your company, to create a goal for your customer, to create uh, uh, your business, because without it you can't do anything today. So it's very important this, because uh, in the past 10 years uh, you see a lot of uh, misunderstanding about this. Uh, a lot of uh, companies try to get out uh, the IT department, because it is a cost, but it is not a cost. It is a very important asset of your company. And you need to rethink about your organization company because uh, IT must be uh, um, like uh, a, a very, a very, very um, internal operation and a very internal software development part because you can't, uh, okay, I put all the IT outside from my company. I have a lot of problem with this because I lost a lot of opportunity in the market because the IT cannot support the business change in a fast way. Today, f a change in, um, in, uh, in business environment are too fast and we need to agree about the way we can support the business in a very fast way. So we need the fast development aspect and the availability and the sustainability uh, release of the services. This is a very main aspect. And uh, sorry, DevOps so is a can help us in doing that. DevOps is a cultural change, is like lean value stream, is related to lean value stream, in which dev and ops are the core part of the value stream. And dev and ops needs to work together in a very, very efficient way to create a business improvement, a business boost. So before start with tools, before start with the framework, before start with the new technology, uh, aspect, you need to change the way you think about your organization. This is why the Conway's law is very important. And let me introduce the discipline of Agile. Discipline of Agile is created by Scott Ambler and Mark Lines. It's a way to think about the organization in a holistic way. It is, it is a way to, to ask to the company, okay, there is a lot of way to create an Agile manner an agile company, a lean company, a DevOps company. Uh, the best way to approach to the agility 
it's your agility and you need to find it. You can't buy it. You need to find your way. And uh, discipline agile is a framework is different from other framework because it's a process decision framework. It's something like uh, help you to find your way in the agile manner. You have a lot of uh, opportunity in agile and you have a lot of choices in agile. You can choose different framework. I think a lot of you uh, know Scrum, Extreme Programming, okay? And a lot of uh, Crystal, uh, Lean and uh, some others. But what is very important, you can't get uh, um, an Agile methodology and uh, put it inside your company. It doesn't work. This is true, this is sure. You need to find the way to adopt an Agile framework, an Agile practice inside your company. And you need to start from this. What suggests uh, uh, discipline of Agile is to focus on seven main principles that can guide your approach to Agile in DevOps. Okay, just, uh, just to be clear, for me, DevOps is like uh, an extension, if you want, uh, of the Agile path because uh, we will see the first principle of Agile next, but uh, um, if you think uh, is a way to create uh, a, a union between Dev and DevOps uh, and work together in a better way. And uh, the main uh, aspect of Agile is to create a better environment to deliver a fast uh, new product to the customer. It's not uh, so far one from the others, but they are very, very related in a strong way. So, seven principles. The first one is delight your customer. It, this is very important. You need to delight your customer because the first principle is our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. See this, continuous delivery. This is the first principle of the Agile, what typically is uh, related to DevOps. And, uh, uh, Discipline Agile suggests to you to make a step uh, ahead. So try to delight your customer. Because if you delight your customer, you can have more, chan more chance sorry, to uh, um, have a, a strong relation with your customer and keep it near to your business. So this is very important. You need to create an incredible solution a very, very interesting solution and support his business. This is your first goal. Your goal is not a technology goal with DevOps. Your goal is a business goal because DevOps is a business manner. This is very important. And second principle, enterprise awareness. You need to, f to think about DevOps in enterprise awareness. Every team inside your company must uh, collaborate to share their knowledge. This is very, very important. You don't uh, must have more silos inside your company. DevOps is not uh, something like, okay, I put together Dev and Ops uh, and they work uh, together. No, it's not it is the, the goal. The goal is to create a value stream. So have uh, an idea starting from uh, when you have the necessity, you, you see the new opportunity and when you deliver it to the customer. You need to create a flow. This is very important. Be able to, sorry, there is a typo. You need people inside your company that will be engaged and thinking every day. This is important. You, you, you need your really um, treasure inside your company are the people. People can make the difference inside your company. If you have Amazon people, you can create Amazon solution. If you have tired people, if you have people that work with you but they really don't like your business, don't uh, are aligned with your business goal, you, have, you haven't had a big chance to, to create a, a greatest solution. This is very important. You need to invest on your people. In a lot of in a lot of ways, sure. From starting from the salary to the uh, to the skill and so on. Pragmatism. This is very important. Uh, it's very different from Scrum and others' approach. You need to find your way. I repeat this. 
and you need to try uh, to find a way to experiment inside your company, right practice, right solution, right organizational structure. What uh, DA uh, suggests to you is to find your right alignment inside different strategies that work in different companies around the world. And DA suggests to you some approach that can help you. This is very important. There is not one path. There is more path and you can choose yours and create yours. Context is very important. It's related to pragmatism approach because you need to think that you are unique. No, one, no other company is like yours. You are different from other companies. Every team are different from other team and every person are differ is different from other person. This is very important. And uh, why this is, uh, for me, is this first step? Because you need to create your culture. You can't gain culture from other sources. You need to create your culture and invest on your culture. Oh, sorry. Also, choice is good. For creating your, uh, your uh, culture, for uh, find your path, you need to have a lot of choice. You need to choose your, your way, you need to choose your practice, you need to find your uh, correct approach to improve your company, and you need to accept that you can fail. This is very important. There is no change without fail. You need to accept the fail, and you need to learn from it, because there is no learning and no change without uh, failure. Sorry, the, okay, the control is not working very well. Optimize the flow. So you need to think, I repeat this, from, starting your, from the start of your activity to the end of your activity. It's, it's not a work of dev, it's not work of ops, it's not work of sales, it's not work of uh, uh, support, it's a unique flow stream and you need to optimize it. This is very important. Okay, this is the poster of the A. Some one of you have never seen it? Ah, okay, great. So, you can uh, see, I hope, because it's not too big, four areas. Discipline of Agile Enterprise, Discipline of Agile IT, Discipline of DevOps, and uh, Discipline of Agile Delivery. All start from the AD, because uh, uh, around 2012, Amber Alliance uh, created the ID and after they scale the approach to all the organization, you find four areas, 25 capabilities and 25 related process blade. Process blade is a set of uh, uh, option strategy related to the capabilities. Think about the capabilities like uh, the area inside your company you need to think about uh, to best improve your company. But today our focus is on Discipline and DevOps. Discipline and DevOps is based on five process blade and Discipline and Agile Delivery with six, sorry, five life cycle and one process blade inside it. The idea of DA and Discipline and DevOps is uh, okay, guys, you have uh, a project, you have a solution to create. You need to think not about in which ways in this moment you uh, organize your company to achieve this goal, but uh, what goal you need to achieve inside your value stream. And you need to think about it. This is very important. So for me, if I have a DA company, it's not important that you use Scrum, you use Krista, you use Xim programming. It's important that you remember to be focused on all of these process blade during the uh, delivery process. This is the most important aspect. And yes, you can do this, you can do that in a very different types, in a very different ways. Why really we need to close the gaps between uh, dev and ops? Because uh, I would uh, share with you an example. 
Uh, a lot of you work in Scrum Way, I think, or something like this. Huh? No? No one? OK. Yes. So I ask to you because in, in Italy it's not so common. It's strange, but in Italy it's not common. So you have, you have a, two, a sprint of two weeks, two weeks typically, and you create an increment after every sprint. This is typically of Scrum. But if your operation people are not aligned with the frequency of the sprint, you have a problem because you don't create really a real value for the customer. For example, if you have a release management activity that uh, um, have a frequency of one day at mount, you can only deliver one day at mount because you have a release window, because you need to, to be on this type of uh, scheduling and something like this, and you have a sprint of two weeks, you release your increment every two sprints in production, typically. And this is a very big problem because you have no feedback from the customer. And the customer have not uh, ROI from what you create. It's a business problem. This is the main problem. So you need to reduce this gap, create uh, a link between uh, ops and dev to best uh, enhance the delivery time. Sorry, I want uh, to put um, an observation about the delivery and deployment. Do you know the difference between the delivery and deployment? Okay, so if you uh, read some book uh, uh, of Fowler and some other uh, uh, guru tech guy, you can find that deployment is continuous uh, deployment uh, near to the production environment, like the pre-production environment. But delivery is automatically deployment in production environment. Inside the DevOps, uh, this is not uh, uh, true because deployment is the action to deliver the, your, your solution, your Docker machine, if you use Docker or something like this, uh, through the different stages of your pipeline. Also in production environment, continuous delivery means creating continually value for your customer. And it is, it's not every day or every week, it's your frequency. It's what is important for you and for your customer. Okay, let's see the process blade related to DevOps, discipline and DevOps. It's the operation, normally. You need to work with, for creating a very, very um, effective IT ecosystem. You need to work in a very uh, effective manner to create a service that is availability, that has a lot of availability, reliability, and high capacity. This is very important. Uh, DevOps have two different uh, um, areas inside it. The first is respond quickly to the change of the business, agile, and create a high uh, availability and reliability environment, typically of Lean. So uh, DevOps is Lean applied to the IT world. This is very important for me. It's not uh, a very different concept from this. It's uh, a new uh, transposition of the Lean principle, principle sorry, to the IT world. You follow me on this? OK, great. Perfect. So first process blade, remember your IT ecosystem. It's very important. You need to create a valid IT ecosystem that supports your business. All of this process blade needs to support your business. It's not a tech problem. It's a business problem. Because without this, your business is too low to stay on the market. You need to talk with your business manager, with your project manager, with your middle management, because they, need, they must stay with you in this transformation. This is very important. Uh, 
every time we create uh, and deliver a new solution, you think about uh, uh, creating a training for the customer care center for your customer, for the help desk if you prefer. No. Typically, you create the software, deploy the software in production, and after you are sure that your customer are able to use your software. But it's not the truth, it's not the reality. When you release uh, a major uh, improvement on your software, typically you have a lot of call to your help desk, to people that help the customer to support them in using your software. You need to involve your, uh, sorry, your help, the help desk people inside your value stream because before you release your solution, you need to train your people because they must re be ready to respond to the call to the request from the customer. Because your goal is not to create uh, a new solution, it's to create a consumable solution. It's very different. Your customer ma must use your solution in a very simple way. This is very, very important. Typically, we never do that. Security, what is security? for your organization. You have a definition of done uh, or your security inside your company? Or something like this? About your process, about your data, about how people uh, interact be between them. It's very important to have a security uh, organization uh, understand. Why this? Okay, let's switch to DevOps automation. You can create a telemetry based on this, and you can, you can gain information about security issues inside your company. And you can improve your solution. Uh, you know the three ways of DevOps, yes, Jenkins? Flow, feedback, and learn and experimentation. You need a lot of feedback, but feedback is not only from uh, operation is not only from your uh, machine environment, but it's also from your customer and in, from the way in which they use your solution. This is more important. You have a lot of information from your virtual machine, from your uh, environment, because you can monitor it. You can create your dashboard and you can have all the information about this. But uh, what you need to support in a very uh, improve, sorry, very improvement of your business is to better understand in which way the user use your application. I will keep you to you an example. Every one of you know Amazon, yes? Okay, perfect. And uh, you know that Amazon had the one button click, one button by click, I don't know in uh, different language. Okay, uh, you know why Amazon had it? Okay. Uh, Around five years ago, there is a lot of uh, loss of purchasing in the, uh, before the last page of the, um, of the basket. The problem is that when people saw the page with all their credit cards, they stop to buy new product. They are like, oh my god, I don't know, I stop, close the browser. With the telemetry and feedback, they discover this and then create the one button click. So people can buy everything, simply push a button. And then they recover something like 20% of the loser buy before. It's very important. You need to know how your customer use your application. This is very, very important. It's more important than to use the better tools or the better technology. Because your goal is to create an improvement, I repeat this, to create an improvement to your business. Oh, uh, minutes. So, I need to go fast. Data management. What is data management? It's not the data inside your application. It's the data of your process. How you can improve your process and uh, your activities? You need to measure it. 
and you need information about what is your improvement during your transformation path. This is very important. Okay, a fast example. From today you start to, to use pair programming, for example. After one sprint, we stay better or not before using pair programming? You need metrics. You need to measure it because without the metrics, you have no idea of your improvement. It's very important. You can discover also that uh, in, uh, pair programming is not a good choice for your company, for your context. I chose another practice for better improve the quality of the code. Release management. Uh, there is operation inside you, between you. Uh, okay. You use something like uh, DevOps or ITIL? ITIL. So you have a release manager. But uh, ITIL is not uh, so far from DevOps. It's not. You can uh, create a common path and integrate dev and ops operation and create the best fit inside your company. Because uh, the ITIL is also a collection of uh, best practice. Something like this. So you need to pay very, very attention of your uh, release management. And uh, dev needs to understand the release management actions because they impact in the way uh, in which they create the code. Okay, in uh, disciplined uh, DevOps we find five types of uh, life cycle. I will be very fast on this because we have no time. So, first one is like Agile, is like Scrum, but uh, adding uh, the inception phase and the transition phase. The main phase is construction. Why this? Because, okay, you work in Scrum, but uh, when you create the product backlog? When? And who created the product backlog? You have the sprint zero or something like this, because Scrum starts from the product backlog. So what uh, uh, do Discipline and Agile is to e explicit insert two different files. In the, inception in, sorry, in the inception phase, you do everything you need to be sure that your solution can be created inside your company. But it's something like one sprint, two weeks, not more. Just what you need to start. And the transition phase is the same to the delivery phase, what you need to deliver the software. If you use Scrum, sorry, if you use Scrum, you can use uh, DA with Agile Lifecycle. It's very similar. What really changes is the, the name inside. You, you don't find sprint, but you find iteration. But it's not a very big change. This is the Lean Cycle. In Lean, you, okay, you typically in uh, uh, Scrum use the Kanban board or something like this. But uh, the Lean Cycle is based on, Scrum, on Kanban. You pull the work in a constant flow and not create the product backlog, not create the estimation. But simply you manage all the tasks you get from the business. Like a flow, like a continuous flow. It's very, very important to use this approach when you have a lot of difficult to predict what work you need to do inside your iteration. There is also not the concept of iteration because it's a continuous flow. When you start with the basic life cycle or lean life cycle, you, uh, after some time you go in the direction of continuous delivery. You have two types of continuous delivery based on the, the agile life cycle, when you continually use the Scrum iteration, and, sorry, the lean, because you have a flow also. But I would repeat to you a thing. You don't need to get this model and use it like you see it now in your company. This is like an inspiration for you, like a big plan for you. You need to understand 
when it fit inside your company and try to adapt to your company. This is very, very important to understand in DA. And it is very different from Scrum on the other agile technology because if you adopt agile, uh, sorry, Scrum, you need a Scrum master, you need a product owner, you need a dev team, you need to change your organization base, based on something that someone in the world, it's work, yes, as to you. With DA, you can choose your transformation path. The last life cycle is uh, explorative. Lean Startup, some one of you have used Lean Startup? No? Okay. Uh, do you know the, what you need to do when you create a startup is not to crea create the best technology uh, product, but is to create your uh, market, discover your customer. This is your uh, goal when you create your startup. After you identify your market and your customer, you can start with your technology improvement of the MVP the minimum valuable product. So you need a life cycle like this to explore your environment, your market, your, uh, um, all the market really, to find yours. So you need something like very fast. To create a startup, Scrum is uh, not so fast. You need something like more, more fast. You need to probe. You need to probe, create something, um, deploy it, see what the user think about your product, measure and uh, try a different uh, approach or go ahead. This is very important. Okay, I will jump something because uh, I'm too late. This is a typical adoption path of life cycle. Typically, teams start from uh, an agile view and goes uh, through lean continuous agile delivery to continuous delivery. I think if you are uh, in the path of the continuous uh, delivery or DevOps, you are doing something like this inside your company, directly or indirectly. You have something like Scrum, something like Sprint, you are trying some, some types of tools for automate your delivery, and something like this. Okay, you must know yourself. You must know yourself. Before you can change, you must know yourself. Find your way. You need to experiment, learn, try, fail to find your way and uh, see your next goal. You need to have a clear vision of your next goal. Without these elements, you can't change yourself. Okay. Just challenge, challenges about DevOps. DevOps is a, a paradigm shift, is a cultural change, is not a tool. You need to have a, an open mind and be flexible because you need to change a lot of times during your transformation. Be prepared to share your skill. For example, in conference like this wonderful conference, this incredible place, you need to share with your colleagues, with your friends, with uh, other people that want to change in the DevOps manner. It's important to share your, uh, um, your understanding, your skill. Collaborate and evolution. You never can, uh, uh, you never can uh, um, talk to anyone that you have uh, you are sorry, sorry, you are arrived to your uh, goal, your transformation goal. You never achieve your final destination. When you arrive at a new destination, it's the start for new transformation. Your goal is to create a continuous transformation inside, inside your company because market continuously is changing. You never can stop to do this. Okay some reference and uh, five minutes about for some question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And maybe some questions. No one? Okay. <laughs>
If you want, I stay here, so in, in private you can ask to me. It's not a problem. Okay, thank you.